Okay, so this video is for anybody that's an Oculus user trying to increase performance. I'm kind of just showing off some Beat Saber here to show you that this works. Keep in mind, I'm using OBS to record this, so... Anyways. Okay, uh, that's enough of that. I just wanted to show that off. Just to show that this works, I didn't have any frame drops there. Uh, so, for reference, I have a um, RTX 2060 and um, uh, Ryzen 7 3700X, I think. That might be wrong. Uh, I just want to go over a couple key points here that will hopefully um, help your experience, or your performance, rather. Sorry. I'm trying to make this an uncut video so I don't have to edit it. And I'm very bad at talking. Anyways, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to search for Oculus, the Oculus app, uh, right click it, open file location. This will take you to the shortcut, right click, properties, go to compatibility, run this program as an administrator. Now that might cause some issues for uh, the way that some people have something set up. Um, I don't know if at any point uh, Oculus automatically starts, but if you, if at any point Oc the Oculus app automatically starts without you opening it manually, this will stop that. I had this problem with Adobe After Effects actually down here. Every time I opened After Effects, Oculus would open. And every time I tried to close Oculus, it would close After Effects. So I um, just ticked this box for the shortcut and that seemed to have fixed it. Anyways, let's uh, talk about some performance stuff now. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna open the Oculus app, go to settings, general, set, Oculus to the OpenXR runtime. Now let me explain what this does. Basically, if you are using Steam, uh, then um, you're probably going to be using Steam VR as well. Do not do this. All it will give you is the Steam menu. You don't need it. Um, I promise you, all it'll give you is just a menu and a reset and whatever. But that that that's it. I mean, a reset button for orientation and such. You can do that in the Oculus app. Anything that you have. Uh, anything that you need to do with Steam VR, um, you can do with Oculus. You'll lose your Steam VR home. I mean, that doesn't really matter. Um, anyways, uh, next up I want to go over is run your games in the headset. So, um, meaning when you put the headset on, don't open Steam VR, just open the game. If you don't see your game, this is okay, probably because, um, you need to open the game. So actually open Steam VR, then open the game, play for a little bit, and then close out of it. And then next time you go to the Oculus library in the headset uh, in PC VR, the game should be there. If it's not, what you can do is you can right click any game. I have Beat Saber here, for example. And then we're gonna go to properties and we're gonna go to launch options here. And we're gonna set uh, launch options to dash V R M O D E space Capital O C U L U S V R mode Oculus. If anybody wants this, it'll be down in the description below. Another tip I want to bring up: uh, if I have any clarification or clarifications, well, any corrections I need to make, please look down in the uh, in the comments or the description below, because um, knowing me, I'll probably screw something up in this tutorial. Um, but uh, yeah, um, so set Oculus to the default Open XR runtime. If you don't do this, you'll have two instances of Open XR. I'm not the most, I, I, I have no place to be explaining all this technical crap and I could be wrong the way I'm explaining it, but if you have Oculus and Steam VR open, you have two OpenXR runtimes open and obviously that is going to tank performance. So um, another thing I've done in the headset is actually uh, lowered the resolution here to act near, near the lowest because um, it's not, uh, I don't really care about it, but um, lowering resolution might be better for you. Um, but um, it, it all kind of depends on your system. So uh, yeah, set Oculus to uh, admin. Set Oculus to the op the default OpenXR runtime. And um, uh, next point I want to make is uh, the Oculus Link cord. If you're using the original one that came there, that Oculus sells. Um, yeah, not the best cord, honestly. Uh, there are better cords for performance for VR that are actually cheaper. And I made the mistake of buying one with my headset because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, another point I want to, uh, 
make is uh, try using AirLink if you can. Um, if your computer is a uh, try to get a wired Ethernet connection to your computer and uh, make sure that your router is somewhat close to your computer. Um, using AirLink over Wi Fi is not the I, I haven't really tested it, so it might be. I don't know if it'll be better. I highly doubt it, but. If your PC has a wired connection and your headset and your PC are near your router, try using AirLink because I've actually noticed, I haven't noticed better image quality, but I have noticed better frame rate and performance. Um, I can't really think of any uh, other tips to say right now. If I think of anything, I'll put it down in the comments below. But um, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I might not answer all of them because I don't know how much this video will blow up. But um, hopefully uh, I'll be able to answer any questions you guys might have. Um, so uh, yeah, set Oculus to admin, set Oculus to open XR run, uh, default open XR runtime because you don't need Steam VR. Uh, and try to use AirLink. Uh, also try to get a better cord if you bought the original Oculus Link cord. And uh, yeah, again, any questions, put them down in the comments. Hopefully I can answer all of them. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope this tutorial helped.